these are three lovely apple cinnamon donuts okay we went apple picking I'm gonna put these out to kind of naturally defrost. And we'll have them for lunch. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if it's very obvious, but my mom is here. We're going to roll back the clip to earlier this morning where I um, spent some time in the morning with my mom and my baby and we had breakfast because I brought them home breakfast when I came from work. And then we, um, we were on the phone with my sister who's pregnant and she's about to have her baby soon. And we were just chopping it up, having a good little time and just enjoying the morning. Hi y'all. Today is our get breakfast from outside morning, and I brought home a um, uh, sandwich from the deli. Maybe one little one. What little one I want is little one. I thought she'd bake an egg and cheese on a cinnamon raisin bagel. Got one for my mom. I got one for me and Mia. I gave her like a quarter of mine. She's eating it right now. So good. I have homework that I have to do and I know that it's not do now and it's making me not do it now <laughs> last night the administrators were going around at work and giving the flu shot and I didn't get it outside because when I did go to get it I was sick and normally they don't give you when you're sick so last night I actually said my arm hurts and I have a slight headache. I don't know if that's associated with it, but we're gonna just chuck it up to that. So, I just took some of my Rituals Vitamin, my Lodipine for my blood pressure, and I took two Tylenol, just in here. And we're eating breakfast. Yeah, After which I, myself and Mia, fell asleep on the couch for about two hours and then she woke up and then I just continued sleeping and my mom had her, which was so very great. And I always appreciate when my mom is here because I get some real good help with Mia and I get to sleep and I don't feel so burnt out and so overwhelmed. Initially she came because um, Mia's dad had some engagement to do he should have been gone all week this week but he's still here i don't know why and um next week he should be gone too because he has his cousin's wedding in jamaica and so um my mom coming um worked out right in time to facilitate him not being here for that wedding i can't remember if it's if it's intentional or if it just worked out that way so i'm so grateful but i'm also hoping that my mom stays for the holidays because it's been years 
since I have spent the holidays with her and I think it would be absolutely lovely but I don't know what her plan is right now she went out with one of her friends and I think that's so fun that she's able to like do these little things with her friends and this is her friend that she's known for years her and I have been taking um turns alternating like cooking and like making meals for each other and now that I'm getting older and my mom is also getting older I find that I'm enjoying um you know just spending so much more time with her and like literally taking care of her like so much more and it's so very exciting um I don't know if it's as exciting for her but being able to have my mom in my life hi honey while I'm 30 is absolutely great because I know a lot of my friends don't have the opportunity to have their moms in their lives and while it's so sad i'm so grateful that i have mine and that you know my kids are able to experience her all that also my older daughter she's in canada with her dad and that's also very exciting it's been exciting things happening the last couple of months around here and i've just been taking time to bask in it and to enjoy all of the things and you know having a lot of things come full circle in my life and that's been really really great um this past week we went to apple picking with the girlies um all of the work aunties well most of the work aunties and mia and that was great and then i've had like a lot of outings with my friends that i really do enjoy because i do enjoy the friendships that i have now at the big big age of 30 so that's also great so yeah, um, I really hope that my mom stays for the holidays, if nothing else, you know, and we are able to enjoy the holidays together and stuff like that. But I don't know what her plan is. We're going to just have to see what her plans are. I mean, school is schooling. Life is lifing. I'm great for her help. But outside of her just being here to help me with my baby, um, I love that she's able to experience me with my baby again like she did with my first daughter and you know that's great but I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to also experience um her um in her more mature years and for her to experience me in my m more mature years as well so that's also very exciting you know I don't know um maybe maybe that's just me but that's something that I really do enjoy <laughs> she brought a few things when she was coming she brought some get up that are spoiled i'm gonna make some stew pork for dinner so i'm gonna defrost it in the microwave really quickly and then um hopefully i'll have enough time to come back to you guys later right now it's 3 p.m I'm, I'm not sure if mia will take another nap but also i've been sleeping for about four hours so i think i'm pretty good for now and i think later on maybe like five o'clock or so i'll like go for another nap and like have my mom you know watch her for a little bit or whatever so I feel fine like going through and just cooking right now so while i'm defrosting the while i'm defrosting the um the pork really quickly i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to um light some of my candles i have merry cookie going right now and i'm waiting for bath and body Works sale so i can buy another 18 candles to last me i think i'm gonna um start putting them in my cart from now so that when it's around time for the sale i'll have uh, quite a few things they don't allow you to buy more than 18 so a girl has to prepare one candle i really like lighting candles inside here when i am going to cook because i like for it to smell really good inside here and not just like food i also like closing the bedroom doors so that the bedrooms don't smell like food so where's this so there's that as well so we have one candle going here no thank you honey guys now mia is able to open the doors i kid you not she look at her down there in the back one thing she's gonna do is open the doors i got this plan for my friend it's in this cute elephant vase and i love it i'm gonna put some water in her right now hi whenever i pick the whenever i um have the camera out to me is ready to say hi it's so funny how the things that you do like your kids also do them <laughs> So like she sees me with the camera all the time saying hi, doing this, doing that, and she is also interested in doing that stuff. So I had bought this darn phone case on 
um, Amazon and I really didn't like it after I bought it. Also, my friend Jody has the same one. I really didn't like it, but <laughs> I had to go back to it because I'm tired of the ones that I have. This morning I was on Timu trying to buy some more cases and like, I think some house slippers and I ended up falling asleep. So I need to get back to that. But I also need to get some, um, some more, um, this is kind of like a little mug. That's so cute. I also need to get some more privacy screen. I think Mia's dad has these elderberry drops on subscribe and save because I kid you not. You get a new one once yeah, monthly. Yeah. I really do like these elderberry drops though. I need to just remember to give it to her every day so far. I have not done so good. Let's get the microwave started to defrost the thing and like, yeah. I just sat and worked on this homework that I have, which is basically a letter to my daughters. I'm so excited about that because, um, we ended up having to read this thing for English. It was a letter to my nephew and um, the professor wanted to see us write letters to people in our family or whatever, to our younger selves, to our older selves, whatever. And so I decided to write a letter to my daughter because they are some of the most important people in my life. Look at her waddling. Hi, beautiful. Oh, yesterday I sat and did her hair too. I'm gonna include the little TikTok hair for you guys to see. Also, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. I have two pages. One is all things Janine. And the other one, I started it recently. I think I wanted to take a, like a different turn with my um with my content. There isn't many followers on there, but it's called Janine underscore Jade. So J-A-D-E-N-E -E underscore Jade jade but i'm gonna show you guys so far it's just pretty um pretty much mom things to be honest this is what she's looking like you know just mom things days in my life with the babas just a mom trying to survive her toddler stages getting ready so cute just literally mom things literal days in my life and what they're like uncut okay not uncut they're edited but you know this is the one that I did yesterday. I did her hair. And you know, she let me. It was so cute. I really enjoy doing her little hair and stuff like that. Also, my mom was in the kitchen with me. So, you know, it was very exciting having my mom there, having her there. It was like a whole thing, you know, and I absolutely, um, I love that. I really do love that. But yeah. Honey, no thank you, my love. She's growing and I love that. So we're gonna defrost the meat and try to see what we can make shake really quickly. But yeah. 